Hey Aquarius, hey beautiful souls. So my name is Summer, for those of you who don't know me. I specialize in twin flame readings, healing readings, and love readings, and all that that entails. But I also just read general tarot and channel as well. This is a um, universal reading. It's not really a specified reading. So if you want a personalized channeling reading, um, just click on the link that I'll leave below and I'd be more than happy to. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the present energy for the sign of Aquarius for the end of July. Here we go. What's going on for my Aquarius? What's going on for my Aquarius end of July? What is the name of the game? Okay, we have Ace of Swords. We have Balance. Interesting. Best of both worlds. Justice. Wow. Okay, two major arcanas. Some contract, some big contract. Um, and the Queen of Wands. Very powerful spread we got there, Aquarius. So let's do our clarifiers. Already pre-shuffled. There we go. Clarifier for Ace of Swords, please. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. Clarifier for Balance, please. Wow, two uh, or another strength. A lot of major arcanas. Five of Swords, clarifying the Justice. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. Wow, that is extremely powerful. Okay. So what I feel for you, Aquarius, at the end of July, with the Ace of, of Swords and the Page of Cups, it's like you are not deterred from not having an emotional start. You are not being challenged. I feel like you're taking a brand new start. You've walked away from something from the past. It was very brutal. It was very hard to take. And you got a little, you stumbled a little along the way. Had a little trouble getting started with this brand new beginning. It was like you're starting from scratch. So you're still having faith that you can have a successful partnership. That you can get emotions from others and give back. Um, and that you're not just cold hearted person. Um, and even though there's been some challenges trying to get started and, and start a new, down a new path from something you had to detach from, you're not losing hope and you're not being deterred. And you know that I feel like this is all about worthiness. You're finding the worthiness within yourself, Aquarius. Then we have the balance and the strength accompanied by each other. This to me is a very powerful, um, two major arcanas clarifying each other. This is super powerful. What I feel like this for you is during you, your healing, you have been hearing so many tips and advice and hey, come hang out with me and hey, don't worry about it. Hey, you need to do this. I suggest you do this. The cool thing about this is you've been coming into your own. You haven't needed anybody, haven't been wanting or taking anybody's advice. You've been listening to their point of view, but you've been drawing from your own strength. And you're like, you know what? I'm the only person that can heal my own self. I can find, I am the best solution. There's no need to rush this. Everything that is made in haste turns to waste. So there's no need to rush this healing and moving on and finding this new start. I'm going to take my time. I will still be, take little bits and pieces of what everybody's trying to tell me to do. But the only way I'm going, you know, to do it is maybe verge everybody's viewpoints. But still, the decision's going to come from me. I will change when I'm ready. I will go out again when I'm ready. Right now, I'm standing back with my, you know, dog or cat or whatever. I have to find my inner strength and find my inner goddess or bow inside of me again and really move forward. I'm really filling my own cup. And I'm not letting any toxicity come in or out at this point. I also feel like this is for you, Aquarius. 
this is all about healing. But what I'm finding for you is you're healing an addiction as well that you're not really talking about. And it's taken everything within you to do that. Okay. And I feel like this was the basis of the whole healing domino effect that trickled down to your healing at this moment was a conflict from the past. Most likely a relationship that was on and off for a long time. Most likely something that had a hold of your heart and had you trapped mentally um, for a long time. But apparently justice was served and it happened very quickly. I feel like both of you decided to make a head over heart decision and I felt like this hurt you guys both very, very bad. And then the final sword was drawn. You realized that you two just could not get along. You understand that your viewpoints were always conflictive. That you guys just were never on the same page. You guys could have been total opposites and didn't understand each other. And even though the love was great, the connection was great, it just seemed like you guys were better sitting alone quiet than actually conversating because your personalities just clashed. So I feel like this wasn't even a bad ordeal that you got out of. It was just the fighting, the constant conflict, the constant having to work and work for the relationship when it should have come easier than it did. You guys are finally making a grown-up decision to move forward and not backwards anymore and not keep putting up for a fight for relationship that would have just kept going and getting worse and more battles and more conflict and more deviousness, you know? So your this healing time is progressing for you, but I do feel like it came from a continuous conflict from a past person. Again, you guys both loved each other. You both had a great connection, but you weren't meant for each other, and that's hence where the conflict came from. So... Even though in the past you wanted to keep renewing this, as of now at the end of July, you are not offering a relationship. Cross watchers for Aquarius, um, Aquarius, you know, you and your person, or especially you Aquarius, are not offering a new start with this person. Um, you still have lots of passion for them. You're still highly attracted to them. You still think that they are a brilliant, good looking, passionate, sexy person. Um, friendly, may have a mild, uh, you know, hot-headed temper, but you guys are not moving forward with this, okay? Your Aquarius is not offering you a new start or you them, okay? Right now, you're trying to believe in yourself, Aquarius, that you have the power to move forward, and now you're just trying to find a good balance in between work and home life and meeting new people and having the passion again to get out and not be so bitter minded about what had to end in the past but I do feel like there is no new offer um, coming or a reconciliation coming for you at this time okay Aquarius so I hope this helps let me know if it does or doesn't and if not I will see you guys back in August okay bye loves have a good day namaste